Welcome to Let's Read Mobile. My name's Greg. I'm the camp director at Camp Tonsmeyer, and today we're going to read the true story of the three little pigs. Now, you all think, or everybody thinks they know the true story of the three little pigs, but that's only because you haven't heard my side. I'm the wolf. Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's the diet we have. Maybe it's the fact that we like little an cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's the way we are. If a cheeseburger was cute, would you be big and bad? Think about it. But like I was saying, this whole big bag whiff thing, it's all wrong. The story all started with a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Way back, once upon a time, I was fixing a cake for my sweet, dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold, and I had run out of sugar. So I walked to my neighbor's house to ask for a cup of sugar. Now this neighbor was a pig, and he wasn't a real bright pig either. He built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? Who in their right mind would build a house out of straw? So of course the minute I, I knocked on the door, it fell right in. Now you just don't walk into somebody's house. So I called, little pig, little pig, are you in? No answer. I was just about to go home without a cup of sugar for my dear old sweet granny's birthday and that's when my nose started to twitch. I, I felt a sneeze coming. I huffed and I snuffed. And a great sneeze came. And you know what? The whole house fell down. And right there in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig dead as a doornail. He was home the whole time. It seemed a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner sitting there, so I ate him up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just sitting there. I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have my second cup of sugar. I didn't have my cup of sugar, so I went to his neighbor's house, the second little pig. This pig was the first pig's brother, but he was a smart he was a smarter pig, not really that smart though. He built his house out of sticks. I rang the bell on the stick, I rang the bell on the stick house, and nobody answered. So I called, "Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, let me in." He yelled back, "Go away. You can't come in my house. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin." I had just grabbed the doorknob when it came upon me again. My nose twitched, I huffed, and I snuffed, and I tried to cover my nose, but it wasn't in time. I felt a great big sneeze, and sure enough, you're not going to believe it, but the whole house fell down. When the dust cleared, there was the second little pig, dead as a doornail. Now, you know that food spoils if left out. So what was I to do? I did the only thing there was to do. I had a dinner again. Think of it as a second helping, a second cheeseburger. I was getting awful full. My cold was getting a little better, but I finally didn't have that cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. Now this guy was the first and second pig's brother, and he was the brains of the family. He built his house out of bricks. I knocked on the door. No answer. I called. Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? Do you know what? That rude little pig said, Get out of here. Get away from my house, you pig, you wolf. 
You talk about impolite. He probably had the whole sack full of sugar. He wouldn't even let me have one little cup for my dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig. I was just about to go home and maybe have a nice birthday card instead of a cake. Then I felt a cold coming on. And again, I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed once again. And the third little pig yelled, And your granny can sit on a pen. Well, I'm usually a pretty calm guy. But, some, but somebody talks about my granny that way, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up to the door, of course I was trying to break down the pig's door. And the time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene. And that's the story as it really happened. The newspaper found out about this wolf going for a cup of sugar and figured it wouldn't sell newspapers. So they made up the whole thing about me tormenting the pigs, huffing and puffing and blowing down houses just to eat pigs. They made me the big bad wolf. That's it. That's the real story on how I was framed. Oh, by the way, can I borrow a cup of sugar? Thank you for joining us at Read Mobile. Stay tuned and look for our next book at Read Mobile.